Today, I've got two very easy rib flips. Keep watching. All right, we're gonna start off with this little frame that I got from Goodwill, and it came from Dollar Tree, uh, probably a very long time ago, judging by the rust on the screws. We're gonna take the backing off, and the paper and the glass, because we won't need those. So all we're left with is this pale, pink, dusty little ladder. We're gonna clean it off really well. Try to think outside the box now when you see things that you like. They can always be used for something else. Now I'm just gonna sand it a little bit. I was pleased to see that it is not plastic. It is some type of a wood under there. Just a very light sanding. And I'm gonna use my 2X Rust-Oleum flat white paint. Two coats. While it's drying, I'm gonna move on to the next thing. These little knobs came from Goodwill. And this came from a store called Dirt Cheap. It was originally from the Target Bullseye, I think. And I'm gonna take my sanding block and just go ahead and start by removing the words and the pictures on this on this nice little piece of wood. Takes a little bit of elbow grease and uh, at some point I would like to invest in a electric sander but for now I'm gonna get a little more bite by a rougher grit sandpaper and this really made a big difference. There's really no particular way that I do this. Sometimes in circles, sometimes up and down, sometimes side to side. You know how it is with sanding. I'm just trying to get an even appearance all the way across. Look at that pretty grain. That's really nice. This is a heavy piece too. And it was a nice little decoration on its own. I got three of these for, I think they would have been about 20 cents a piece at the store. Um, it's a clearance like a discount store. So then I'm going to remove all of my dust with this rag and clean my table off. Of course, I'm just running my hand along there to see if I have all of it smooth. This is a little cameo by my son. He wants to show y'all how to make a perfect circle. It says you put your wrist down, you hold the pen, and then you just turn the paper. And then he went on to tell me that the mistake was mine because there's a dent in my table. Yeah. So then I cut it out for him so he could use it for crafting. Okay. Back to the sandpaper. Now we're going to use these little knobs, these little drawer pulls, and I'm going to use the top of them. I'm going to rub them on this heavy grit sandpaper. This is just so that they won't slide around and so they're a little bit flatter. They're kind of slightly curved and I want to make them a little bit flatter. Now, when I was sanding, I totally neglected the back here and then thought, well, I'll just take this off, but I'm not going to use this for anything else, so I kind of stopped short and didn't finish that. Wiped it all off, got the dust off, and I'm going to use my Elmer's wood glue. I use that rubber band to keep a spare brush. I'm going to take this brush, dip it in here. I hate the spout on these things, and you can be more precise with a brush. So I'm just going to add on a couple of dots of this glue. I didn't get quite enough. So you're going to see four dots of the glue. That's going to keep it there for a long time. And then I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm going to make four little dots right in between. It's my understanding if you mix your glues that they won't work as well as they're supposed to. So I'm trying to keep those separate. I'm going to eyeball the corner there and I'm going to press these down. And you know it already, these are going to be legs. And this is going to be a little riser. So I'm gonna do this with each one of these little knobs that are now legs and the little decorative sign, which is now going to be a riser. I absolutely love this and I will certainly be doing this again. This was so easy and so inexpensive. I mean, for less than a dollar, I have this heavy duty, rustic looking farmhouse riser. I'm gonna take my clear, matte clear Rust-Oleum 2X outside and give it one light spray. 
and it does change the surface just a little bit. It darkens it up just a little. I don't have a problem with that. So here's the results of the spray paint, the two coats on my ladder. And this is how it looks once you get that matte clear coat on the riser. Okay, I have some of these that I got from Goodwill also, of course. And they're just little miniature vine wreaths. I'm going to use these to decorate my ladder. Don't we like small things? Aren't they cute? I don't know what it is about them. I'm going to take some Dollar Tree ribbon. I love this ribbon. It's so simple. It's just like a, a gray and cream color. Very farmhouse. I'm trying to decide what I want to do as far as how I want to place these on here. Something like that would definitely work. And then I'm going to take some of this twine. This came, I think, it, around Christmas time, maybe fall. It's just like a white berry, uh, pit berry vine, I think is what it's called. And you're just going to wrap that around that wreath. All the way around back to the beginning. You can use less if you don't want as many berries. And you can just, you know, space out the, the wraps a little bit more. But I like the effect of a little more on here. And I like the white with the ladder. It's very pretty. These aren't matte colored berries. They almost have like a, a slightly pearly appearance. But they're really nice. Okay, so there will be the little wreath for the bottom rung. And now let's fix this plain wreath right here on the top. I'm just going to use a little hot glue and put our loop together. Very simple. This is very easy, very low skill things that we're doing here. I'm going to wrap this around the top rung and just add a little bit of hot glue. Very quickly, I want to say welcome to all of my new subscribers. I'm so happy to have you here. I do a lot of Dollar Tree and thrift flip type um, DIYs. And I love a farmhouse decor. I have a little bit of rustic. I have little all kinds of stuff in my house. Okay, so just a simple bow on the top. I don't know what happened to that little piece of footage where I made it. And I just secured that down on there. So here is the result of that little mini ladder. You could lean this up against a tiered tray. You could put it on a little shelf. You could put this in a lot of different places in your house. I love this. It would also look good in a china cabinet, maybe. And then here's the riser. I just set a little basket there. I like to collect these little mini baskets to put beads and such in. And this is how the two of those look together. So give me a thumbs up if you like this. To all of you guys who've been here with me from the beginning, thank you so much. My channel is building and let's welcome all the newbies to our family. I'm blessed to have all the support from all you guys because you could spend your time anywhere you wanted, any way you wanted on any other channel or doing something else and you chose to spend this time with me and it means a lot. Thank you so much. I'll see you again soon. Bye.